Imam Saab, thank you for attending a question answer session today. How do you think it went? Uh, well, first of all, I would like to say that uh, by the grace of Allah, I was able to attend this uh, meeting arranged by Majlis Qudam al the Midlands. And uh, I'm very pleased to say that uh, by the grace of Allah, the meeting uh, went very well. Uh, we started when uh, the audience was already waiting and they were really in a mood to listen. And throughout the meeting, I felt that uh, everybody was paying their highest attention. And that is a good indication of the fact that people are waiting for a message and they want to understand it and hopefully they want to take it back with them. So throughout the session, I had the feeling while I was looking at them from the stage that everyone was very keenly listening and trying to understand the message. And by the grace of Allah, I was told that uh, after my short presentation in the beginning, there were some 19 questions which were answered. So in that case, uh, that also reflects the lot of interest. Maybe some points were not covered or maybe they wanted to have some more information. But anyway, the questions, they were very, uh, very big variety was there and very probing type of questions were also there. So Alhamdulillah, that shows their further interest and that is something very important. If the audience is not uh, really attentive or if they don't uh, show any interest through the questions, then one cannot really feel that the message has been put across. But from both these uh, standards, I think the meeting, Alhamdulillah, went very well. And uh, I was able to see many new faces Rather, most of the people whom I have met, they were first-time comers. So it's a good, very good thing that new and new contacts are being made. Hopefully, the contact will be kept with them and they would be invited in future meetings as well. As a matter of fact, the success of the meeting lies in the follow-up. And that's very essential after the meeting, a follow-up by way of writing a letter of thanks to them and inviting them again. That should always be there. So I would be failing in my comment if I don't mention that those people, all of them, those who worked very hard day and night for the preparation of this meeting, may Allah thank them and reward them. And uh, they should be given the opportunity of further contributing for the cause of the community. So Alhamdulillah, all of them, they worked very well. And looking at the faces of the guest in the meeting, I could say that uh, Alhamdulillah, all of them, they have gone happy. So may Allah keep them happy and keep them coming again and again. Thank you very much. Exactly. Thank you. Imam Saab, uh, one final thing. You've already given us some advice on how to follow up the guests. Is there any specific message you'd like to give uh, the Qudam of uh, the Midlands? Well, the message for Qudam of Midland or anywhere is the same which Huzur is always giving. And as every Khadim should know it very perfectly well, that uh, these days, Huzur, after having gone into depth of tarbiyat issues, now he is emphasizing on tabligh very much. In almost all messages, in all speeches, in all khutbat, unless there is a specific other topic. Otherwise, he is definitely bringing the subject of tarbiyat and tabligh in particular these days. So the message for the khudam in Midland and elsewhere in UK, I think is the same, that now it is high time that all members of Khudam al throughout the country, they should go out with a clear message and continue preaching it until it reaches to the hearts of the people. So unless and until we are able to do and accomplish this task, we cannot say that we have discharged our responsibility fully. So that is my message, that we should keep it present in our mind and show it through our action that we have understood the message and we are on the way of its achievement.